Yo, what is going on guys? I am excited to come here and share the ranked classes or comp classes for you guys. I did say two videos ago on the high rise strike video that if someone commented for the for the class I would come out and share the class with you guys for you guys to use and further thinking about it in the previous video from yesterday I was going to come out here and give you my top three classes for season three with the meta change the nerfs that have happened and everything that has happened I've got the classes here that I would recommend for you guys to use but yeah there's three classes here that I'm going to give you guys and we're going to straight up start off with a rival to be honest there isn't actually anything that I use differently on the rival the rival is exactly the same as it always has been um so if you haven't already got the class here it is the purifier muzzle the clear shot barrel the marauder stock the dr6 and the rival vice if someone's using the swarm you will notice that you might lose some close quarters gunfights but overall i still think the rival is the go-to submachine gun as this thing is just insane at every range that you could ask for on a sub and for the renetti on my subclass this is the setup i use for it for the renetti realistically you can use whatever you want uh there's a couple variations i'll show you the other variations for my ar class and the, my flex class but for for this one in particular this is what i use i have the smoke on because as a sub on the search i love to use smoke strats to run through the smoke uh semtex standard trophy standard for, but as i use covert quick grip gloves okay so for, for the quick grip gloves on the subs i would honestly recommend it just so you can throw your shit fast and you would honestly love to have quick grip on every class but for the subs is perfect because if you're playing hard point you or control you're going to want to throw that trophy quick you want to get things done quick you want to throw your stun quick everything you want quick and obviously covert people using sound eq sound abusing audio abusing i hate it otherwise i would use lightweight but the abuse of sound eq in the higher ranks has actually made me unable to use lightweight it's so obvious in search yeah it's so obvious in search when someone is using sound eq and the covert sneakers do set up a layer of protection for it but it still doesn't prevent it so sometimes not even the covert sneakers will help and of course cod padding as the the third one the amount of nade spam that I get in this game is ridiculous and with the stun changes I actually have found it to be more beneficial to use EOD over attack mask however this is also personal preference so you can really use whatever you like so let's move over to the next class which is the MCW if you do watch my videos you will notice I'm predominantly a main AR this is actually a new thing for me as if you go through my old Call of Duty videos like Cold War, Modern Warfare I was always running a sub but <laughs> coming back to COD, the AR has actually suited my playstyle from playing other games that you have seen on the channel. So I've stuck to the AR. And to be completely honest with you guys once more, the class is exactly the same as what I was running before. If you do see players like Octane, Apathy on Twitch, they do run the precision stock over the claw uh, rear grip. So they do run this over the claw. But again, this is personal preference. I personally prefer the claw. I've been getting more success with the claw and I actually notice it's faster with the claw and sometimes that extra bit of speed has actually won me more gunfights. So yeah, the, if you haven't already got the class, it's the claw. The The site is preference. You can either use the slate, this one, or the other ELOs that have been out in DLCs. The 16 Cyclone, the Long Barrel, the L4R and the DR6. I have seen a couple of people use the X10, but personally for me, this has been the most consistent class that I've had. And for the Renetti on my AR class, this is actually the setup I'm using. Um, I took off the short barrel. So the short barrel, as you see, increases recoil control. Uh, so I don't need that increase of recoil because as I'm shooting at longer ranges, as the MCW has been nerfed, I want that extra recoil control so I'm able to beam people at a distance with the Renetti because sometimes you leave someone one shot 
at a distance, especially on a high rise game, and you switch to that pistol and you just get the last couple shots at a distance. And without the short barrel, this makes it so much easier to hit those final shots that you may need to hit. Again, on my AR class, I don't run smokes, I run stuns. I prefer stuns on this class. Uh, Semtex is a standard trophy as an AR, you kind of want to run a trophy, but you know, there's no point in running uh, dead silence if you've got cover anyways. So it's up to you. If, you. if you're using lightweight on your AR classes, definitely use Deddy, but if not, just run trophy. I've got marksman gloves on here is again, personal preference. If you find yourself to be more of a main AR type of player and you sit back and you watch angles and you iron more, marksman is your thing, All right? Just go for marksman. But if you're more of an aggressive player, so you like running around, pushing up into, you know, into the, wherever the enemies are, I would honestly tell you to 100% use quick grip. Quick grip allows you just to be faster on the map. So if you're playing hard point on Rio, for example, and you want to get that trophy down and you want to go boxes, you can do that so fast. You get that stun out, the Semtex, you're playing extremely fast at the expense of that extra flinch at a distance. But you could definitely use this uh, quick grip on smaller maps and benefit from it. But personally for me, I use Marksman. As I said before, I am a main AR. So if you're a main AR, go for Marksman. If you're more of a flex type of player, Quick Grip is probably for you on the MCW. And again, the perks, the last two perks are gonna stay consistent for these last two classes. I'm not even gonna go over them. And here we actually have the new class that I have been running on Ranked. You have seen videos already on it. There's gonna be one more video in the my next video is actually going to be another Striker 9 video unless I decide to switch up and put an MCW video as I just bought a, <laughs> I bought a new uh, package on the store. But but yeah, two videos already with this gun. This gun is insane. If you guys played Black Ops 4 back in the day, you will know that this... Oh, personally for me, this feels like the Maddox, bro. I love the way this feels. This gun feels great. Again, in the high lobbies, you do tend to get outgunned by the rival at times. However, this is actually a very consistent gun, and as a as a main AR, the accuracy this thing has is insane. So like medium range and short range, this gun can dominate, but the problem right now is the swarm, which I'm not going to show the class because I hate the swarm, I don't like it, and I don't actually have the class. So these are the three classes you should be running, because the swarm's going to get out anyways in the next uh, patch because of the pro's GA in it, but this gun... Trust me, run this class and you will honestly feel like this is the Maddox from Black Ops 4. It's like reincarnated except for the crack aiming. So I've got the L4R flash hider on uh, the muzzle, the FTAC MSP 98 hand stop. I was going to run the DR6, but I do notice you get extra recoil control with this, which actually benefits it. You can actually use this as a uh, AR hybrid, which is insane. And uh, the barrel... I use the striker recon long barrel. I have seen people use this barrel as well, but I have preferred this one here. I don't don't tell me why. I just prefer this one. I'm pretty sure if we go on uh, the details, this actually gives you better damage range and minimum damage range. So actually, it increases damage range overall. But the velocity is the same with the other one. So it's really up to you. Um, if you are struggling with the recoil, you could probably switch over to this barrel, but Overall, if you want more damage at range and you're wanting to... I, I would recommend this one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, because most of the maps are more preferred for longer range engagements, which would actually benefit you having this. If you're playing shipment, run this shit. But if you're playing normal comp maps, just run the, the fucking recon long barrel. Again, here, it's personal preference. I prefer using the ELO. You don't have to use a sight on this. Either use an optic or just use a stock. So this is actually personal preference. If you want, run any sight here or just go irons. I don't like iron sights on this gun. So I just got Mark III. But it's personal preference if you want one or not. Like every sight on every gun. And the stock is the Luckman Recon Series stock. Out of all of them. I haven't actually tried all of them, to be honest. I haven't tried any of these that are here. But from looking at them, I'm not going to lie. This one here is the best one for a hybrid AR class. You can mess around and go through all of these stocks and try out your own favorite. And then let us know in the comments if you like, uh, prefer a different stock. 
I'm happy to, to try some classes out for a video but for right now this is the stock I'm running and yeah let's have a quick look at the perks and the Renetti okay as this uh, is a hybrid AR class the Renetti is actually very similar to my AR setup uh, without the the short barrel as I honestly hate the little kick it does with the the recoil on the the short barrel so I prefer just keeping it like this this is all you really need this thing kills extremely fast if you're on low ping on high ping I don't know how it works but ever since I've been on like 9 to 10 ping this thing is is like a two burst machine at times it's ridiculous so yeah I honestly highly recommend you take away the short barrel unless you're running a sub like a pure subclass where you're being very aggressive I'd say take off the the short barrel uh, again, as this is a hybrid, I do tend to run smokes because I like being aggressive with it at times. Semtex, Trophy, again, Quick Grip. Here, you could use Marksman, but I'd recommend Quick Grip as it's a hybrid. Covert and EOD, but you could definitely use Quick Grip. And on this one, you could actually use Assault as well as you're using the site. So if you really want to and you notice yourself struggling on the jump shots, I would say run Assault. But you're going to lose that speed that you would have before. So, yeah, guys. I mean, those are all of my classes. Again, as you can see here, it does say can't be used in this match. But you can run smokes even if you're running in into a hard point. When you spawn in, it will automatically switch to the stun. So you don't have to have multiple classes. You can just have one class that does it all. And, yeah, guys. Also, I forgot to mention the infantry vest is the vest I use at every single setup. So you don't have to think about that. Every single setup is infantry. And yeah, that's going to wrap up my little class video. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe, guys. Let's try to get to 100 subs. Drop a comment down below if you're going to use any of these classes. And yeah, guys, peace.